what's up Aquarius all right so look we are gonna be jumping straight into you guys reading but first let me tell you the word that I got to describe the energy that's surrounding you now and that'll be surrounding you throughout this next trend that one word was extreme okay so don't be alarmed you got a lot of protection in the angelic realm but the way I was getting it is like someone is going through extreme measures to either get you or get you back as I was hearing it so um to get you back could be like you know I, I heard tip for tat like um there's a lot of um energetic spiritual activity happening so if you notice a lot of activity paranormal activity things falling doors opening and shutting um you thought you put something right here you could have swore you just put it right there but you look for it and it's gone and then it just reappears somewhere else or worse it never shows back up you feel what i'm saying supernatural happenings things are really 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 taking place in this realm the spiritual realm it's like everything is merging together okay and you guys are becoming so sensitive that you can feel i'm seeing extremes the polarity you can feel when people are hot you can feel when people are cold you can feel when something is happening you can feel when everything is calm like you guys are coming into a whole new world but be mindful that these the more sensitive you get the higher you go, you're gonna be exposed to more supernatural things, which is gonna work in your benefit because you'll be able to attack things in the spirit realm before they can even manifest. So boy, when I tell you, I mean, it could also be like jealousy and be, you know, that kind of energy. Um, when people start going and resorting to black magic and all that kind of stuff to get at you or get you back, then yeah, that's a little extreme. So some of y'all got some stuff that you need to take care of in the spirit realm. It's like spiritual warfare going on, but you are so equipped to take down anything that is unlike the vibration of love or enlightenment. Anything that's uh, gonna lead you towards your greater purpose, okay? So let's get into this reading. We're gonna get a vintage wisdom oracle card to see what you get. Woo hoo, release. All right. So this energy is either coming from someone who you released or who you need to release right now, okay? Also, some of you guys need to release, I'm saying like soul ties, energetic bonds, all of those kind of things. Like, And it's getting serious too, like, you know, um, this extreme release, somebody doesn't want to let you go. Maybe it's someone who doesn't want to release you. And the reason why I feel like this comes up at a time like this is because a lot of people are on that verge of maybe the biggest breakthrough of your life. And right before you hit that finish line, something just doesn't want you want you to cross. Something doesn't want you to get there. Okay. So what is it that you need to release? Who is it that you need to release? Who is it that needs to release you? You know, figure that out because you're almost there. Let's see what else we get purpose wow i know what i'm here to do man a lot of y'all cracking the code or you have cracked the entire case wide open okay you know what's going on you know who you are you woke up you say you know what i'm different yeah i'm different and and you knew you had something to do and you knew that you were somebody and now you're walking towards that but i'm telling you man that supernatural stuff it starts to get more and more heightened the more you go, a lot of you guys have purposes that involve like supernatural abilities, right? So be in tune. Aquas, be in tune with that. Okay, let's see what else you get. Doubt. See? Some of y'all doubt your abilities. Some of y'all been doubting these supernatural things that have been happening. I'm even feeling like there's some of you all who have these occurrences or these things happen and you don't have anybody to explain it to. I'm seeing some of you all even frustrated because it's like things happen. It's like you can only sit there and go, hmm, yep, that just happened, but I can't explain it. There's no earthly definition or words to explain. Understand, there are people out there who go through the same thing. Something, another part of you has awakened. I mean, I feel like I got eight third eyes, if that makes any sense. And something is, is happening every day. And a lot of you guys are awakening to that too. 
but you're doubting. And some of you guys are doubting your purpose. You're doubting, you know, who you are and you doubt your greatness. And this says, I release the need to know all the answers. So for some of you guys, you need to release the doubt and release the answers because they're going to come. Okay. Especially what I just say, the need to know all the answers. Well, how do you explain that supernatural occurrence? How do you explain that? Spirit of Son, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about explanation. Your soul knows. Roll with it, okay? Yes, that was a ghost. Hey, Casper. And keep it moving, okay? Let's see what else we get. Perseverance. Telling you to push on, shawty. Push on. It says, I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. All right, so now we are going to be moving on to your spread to see what other insights we can get. Um... The extreme, the extreme, the extreme. Wow. It's really, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. It's making me feel weird. You feel weird? Like something like something strange. Like it's the episode of uh, like the Twilight Zone or something. Okay, so let's get into it. Let me see why this vibe is so weird, okay? Who? The Empress. Okay. Um, I'm hearing status. I'm hearing position. Didn't I tell you you right on the edge? You're on the verge? Okay, this is what's going on. This is why someone would go to the extreme, okay? This is why someone would either go to the extreme of trying to, like, get you, like, want to be with you, the extreme of trying to impress you, or this is the extreme of trying to stop this before it takes off, okay? We got to see what it's crossed by. Also, this is for those of you, because it lands on this doubt. This is for some of you all who are doubting your status. Doubting who you are. Doubting who you are going to be. I mean, even though you may not be this person now, this empress now, this emperor. Now, it's just kind of like, it's like I looked at a picture of Oprah when she was four. And I was thinking to myself, man, did Oprah know she was Oprah? Like, she was always Oprah, right? So she could have walked around like, yeah, I'm Oprah, even though she was four, you know, and they could have been like, girl, you just four, you ain't going to do nothing, da, 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 da. but she was still her, even at age four. And whatever age, whatever stage you're in now, you're still you right now. So let's see what it's crossed by though. We got to see. Um, also, I'm getting a new, the new level, like the new ascension level. So this is why some of you guys are also going to receive new, like, supernatural happenings your third eye will be completely open let's see what else oh the queen of pentacles okay now listen okay now we getting into it now because see a status position some of you all are about to pass surpass someone you're about to surpass someone okay um this queen of pentacles this is a yeah very feminine jealous energy this queen of pentacles was the the know all, the be all. She was at the top until this empress came along, until you came along, okay? She or he, take it how it applies, but it's a very feminine energy. It's like a catty energy. And this is why I'm saying it's weird. Um, some of you all may or may not know this person. For a lot of you guys, you've never even seen this person. So that means some of you guys are um, like in, you have a platform, you could be in media, but uh, this is also an ex's ex, or as we all would probably call it in Karmicville, the karmic, or in the twin flame bill, the karmic, okay? You guys may have a karmic on your tail who is completely obsessed with you. I'm even saying like this, is she wants to be you. She wants to be the empress, okay? And now this is at some type of extreme level, okay? Yeah, extreme jealousy, okay? That's why it's getting so weird. Because it's like, why are you so focused on the empress? Like, you're the queen of pentacles. Like, if you focused on yourself, you probably could be. But this energy feels like you're in the way. This could be a workplace environment situation. This could be um, also, if you met somebody new recently, and you you right now, like, Mr. to steal your girl or, miss steal your man the person who you stole them from is the one looking at you like that okay let's see what else what's going on 
in the deep root of things. Ooh, the nine of wands. Yep, battered warrior syndrome. Okay, we got somebody who's been through it. This is that victim mentality. Um, you stole my person or you stole my status. You stole my position, okay? Let's say, for example, ooh, and my ear is ringing. Here it comes. Thank you. Um, you at a workplace environment, right? You just got there. This queen of pentacles has been there for a long time, just waiting to get that management position. But then all of a sudden, this person, you, who haven't been there that long, all of a sudden gets it. You surpass them, and now you're their boss. Even though they're the queen, you're the empress. So there, it's like you one-up them somehow. And now that person is beat, battered, bruised, okay? For some of you all, you're going through, uh, like I was saying, it's, it's a spiritual war, okay? Because a lot of this stuff is happening in the spirit realm. And you may manifest it in your daily life. You're just walking around, minding your own business. Here comes somebody bumping to you or somebody's rude to you suddenly. Or, you know, when you know th strange things, strange. You know, you just minding your business, look down, and you look up at somebody across the room staring at you, and they're wearing all black. Like, you know, stuff like that. Like, real deep stuff that I won't go into too deep just yet, but this not a pinnacles energy of someone who feels like they are defeated. Like, you defeated someone in battle, okay? And this person is still trying to defend the last little bit that they got. All right. I'm hearing name. I'm hearing title, like all that kind of stuff. Name, title, status, position. Like, boy, y'all about to take off. And right before you get that, boy, that's somebody holding on tight. They need to release you. All right. Let's see what we got going on in the background. Recent past, <laughs> the five of pentacles. So we got this um, leaving someone out because it lands right on purpose. So some of you guys decided... Uh, to relentlessly pursue your purpose and not let anything stop you, even if that means shutting people out, okay? Now, also, this may um, come in a way, I don't want to scare anybody, but um, you know how people can do things on the low that you wouldn't know about, okay? Like, uh, some people don't know you watch tarot card readings. A lot of people are really closeted when it comes to stuff like this. So you'd be surprised who would go to, like, a person to cast spells. There are plenty of cap, uh, spell casters. You can look them on Instagram. You can DM them real quick. You can, you know what I mean? And and don't be surprised if people actually try to stop you through um, rituals and you know spell setting. If you feel like you woozy or you're tired or you get these ailments suddenly, you know you might want to start looking into that kind of stuff. Okay, because it might not be you. But this is the last attempt. Let's see what's going on in his face. So obviously, wait, let me just go back and talk about this. It's somebody who you left out, okay? And not only did you leave them out, whatever you leaving them out did, it affects their finances some way, somehow, okay? Queen of Pentacles, now all of a sudden, you know, things were, uh, I feel like, withdrawn. Something about withdrawal. So maybe some, some money got taken out of a bank account or something. Maybe someone uh, lost a position because of you. Like I feel like somebody was going to get chose for something, but then all of a sudden you came along and you were a better pick. I'm also seeing someone um, who has an, a role, like a movie role or something, but then you come along and you're a much better fit for what they're looking for. They only chose this person because they was the best of what they had, but then you came along and it's like, whoa, we ain't never had nothing like that before, so let's get that, okay? Some way, somehow, be different. Let's see what's in your headspace. <sighs> the Five of Swords. Right up here with this release card. All right, my ear is ringing again. So this is the every man for himself energy, okay? And it's also, I'm getting that crab in a barrel mentality. It's like, here you are, right on the verge, right on the edge. Instead of me just going to work on myself or instead of me just clapping and congratulating you, nope, let me pull out my pinchers and try to pull you down, okay? Five of swords energy. This is what needs to be released, all right? And it might be coming from multiple people, okay? And, you know, and I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings or scare nobody. This is part of the process. Right before that breakthrough, you really start to see who's real, who's not, how deep can jealousy go. You know, all those kind of things play a huge role. So some of you guys may have multiple energies uh, targeted at you. But the thing I love about this card is that your sword is bigger than theirs. That means to me, supernaturally, logically, 
emotionally, spiritually, and maybe even physically, you could take them. Okay. Which is why you are in the position that you are in. Okay. Look at the battle. It's already won. It's already won. Okay. You won up them. All right. Let's see what we have in the near future. For some of you guys, this whole thing, I'm feeling it for some of you all is just a battle of the mind. Okay. Some of you guys are really going through these battles in your mind. It may not be an outside person, but you know, even with your own mind playing tricks on you, you know, that can have an effect. So let's see what we have in the near future. Oh, two guys want to come out. A little stuck. Whew. So we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. And then we have the Death card. So this is some news, some information. I just heard a few things. Okay. One of the main things that just stood out was a truce. Some of you guys have the ability to, whether you know it consciously or not, the ability to, I'm hearing, I just heard send strikes. Okay. So you have the ability to send strikes of your own. So if there is some karmic sending some, something to you, or if somebody did actually go and, and do rituals or like candles or things, do things to try to block you and stop you. It's like you guys may have sent some things or done some things too, that you aren't even aware of. Okay. Some of you guys could appear in other people's dream. And I'm even seeing that somebody had a dream that you kicked a butt. Wow. That was interesting. Some of you all are dealing with someone who's very jealous of you and they laid down and closed their eyeballs and went to sleep and had a dream that they got into a fist fight with you and you kicked their butt. Wow. You want to know why? Because spiritually that's what actually happened. A lot of you guys are defeating, defeating, defeating like demons or parasites and tricksters. Okay. So anyway, this death card, a huge transformation happening, but this night is coming. Okay. This night, this could be the low vibrational energy. The night could be, um, a person. Okay. Coming back to say something. Now, how do we like to see couples here at Water Star Vibes? Well, we like to see Kings and Queens and emperors and empresses. So whoever this is coming, uh, you're the empress. So Knights to empresses aren't going to necessarily work. This is probably maybe even a person you have to release too, because that's what the death card talks about. So we got it coming up twice. This person may be coming back around the mountain when he or she comes, but you're going to have to tell them swing on back on and keep going. All right. So, um, also this can be a message. Watch your mail, watch your emails. Okay. I want to talk about this though. I want to talk about the death card and the Knights of Wands. Why are you here? What have you come to say? Change. Okay. So you guys remember how I was saying earlier, there may be multiple people coming back. This may be one of them and they may be coming to say that they changed. Okay. So watch out for that. This says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, but also the death card that is, you know, change, transformation. Let us see. Let's go see what the fear is. The Knight of Swords. Well, whoever it was who was left out or who I'm seeing like demotion too. This doesn't even necessarily have to be um, a workplace environment. I'm seeing this in the spiritual realm. Uh, something was sent to attack you, but it failed. And when it did on the other side, there was some type of demotion. So let's say you were high ranking demon and they sent their best demon to come knock you down, but then you got back up. Okay. Obviously you are not the best high ranking demon. So you go sit down on the loser side, you know, that person got demoted or that demon got demoted some way, somehow. But anyway, this was the fear or this is the fear. Um, that if I don't carry out, if I don't fix it, if I don't see in their world, it's called fixing it. Wow. That's interesting. And, and what I mean by fixing it is ending you or stopping you or blocking you. Okay. Making it really, really difficult and hard for you, making you want to give up and quit. Okay. If, uh, if they don't fix it or fix you, then you become the empress. We don't want that. You ever seen the movie Ready Player One? Oh my God. Go watch that movie. They didn't want, boy, I ain't going to even give it away. But go watch that movie Ready Player One. All the way to the end. Okay? That's how I'm seeing you right now. 
That's how I'm seeing you right now. Everything I'm saying right now, go watch that movie. Let's see what you look like right now. Ah, the sun card. <laughs> well, well, do you see why they're jealous? And I don't even want to keep using that word. Because the word jealous to me is not cutting it. Because remember we were talking about extreme? So this is beyond that. This is like, no. I am on a mission, okay? I need a big old cloud to come rolling right on over that Aquarian sun, okay? But you're the empress. Like, you, you look happy. You look like, to some people, they look like, they look at you like, man, um, you made it or you're making it or you're doing it. Okay, uh, you got admiration as I'm hearing it, all right? But you look happy. You look happy. Now, again, remember the every man for himself energy, okay? Something needs to be released. Some of you guys already released and did all of this, and you genuinely feel happy. It's not fake. It's not a front. And I think that would make someone else mad, too. Like, no, you're not just smiling for the gram. You genuinely smile when there's no cameras around. So let's see what it is that you hope for or they hope for. Ooh, okay, well, hey, the lovers. So that's going to be what this um, night is coming in to say, listen, I've changed. Come on now, let's be lovers, all right? Or this can actually be someone new, brand new, all right? And that's what I would, like, after all of this, because I'm seeing it like the storm, but then the clouds roll back, and I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Okay, so now the sun is out, you know, the itsy bitsy spider goes up the spout again. So the sun is out and now you got a chance to start over like it's a new day. It's um after a fresh rain, you know, what do you do after a fresh rain and the sun comes out, you know? So let's go see what is the outcome of all of this. The Knight of Pentacles. Well... There are some nights. So this may be just like dating. It may be more news and information. I'm also getting like investments with this and seeing a return on something um, that took a long time to come back in. So a lot of you guys will be seeing some type of financial return. Now that's, that's different. That's interesting. Um, usually these kind of readings go in a different direction, but something that's been a long time coming. Oh, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, like you um, having this breakthrough and like getting to a, another point or getting to that next. Like a lot of a lot of you guys are climbing, so you may hear me say, oh, you get to the next level. And when I say the next level, I'm not saying, oh, we're still waiting for you to get to that level. It's like, no, you made it to that level. We're talking about the next level. And then the next, next level, okay? Think about somebody playing a video game. It's like, you don't sit on that level for years. It's like, no, nah, let's go. Level, next, 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 next. And you keep going, you know? And that's what some of y'all are doing, all right? So this is what this is representing me. Um, again, I don't see the king energy here or the emperor energy here, which means it's more of a, a feminine dominant energy happening right now with, with your energy. So if you are a male right now, you may, may want to tap into feminine resources, okay? I don't know who this is for, but it's like uh, you may sell a particular type of product and you may market towards a lot of men. I'm feeling like for somebody, your shift or your breakthrough is going to come when you start incorporating women and then boom, you're going to see an increase. Okay. You've been waiting for this increase in sales. Like what's wrong? Why these men ain't buying it? I'm feeling for somebody, this may be for one person. You need to shift over and include women into your market. Okay. Um, for those women who are in business right now, market it towards women. Okay. Nothing against the male energy. We love the male energy, but it just seems as though right now, uh, I'm just, I don't know who this is for. If you're looking for things to be lucrative and trying to make money, the feminine market right now will be popping for you. Okay. I don't know who that's for. So let's go ahead and let's get something else to wrap this up. But Aquarius, let's talk about this extreme. Wow. Forgiveness. Somebody wants forgiveness, but you know, that's, I would say yes, forgiveness, sure, in your heart, but that doesn't necessarily mean we have to uh, intermit. Um, this is what this night may be coming to say, maybe wanting forgiveness. But it says, I know that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I want to pull another one. 
What else? Hmm. Get a very outside resource. Failure. This is the um the energy or the vibe that's trying to get you or attack you. Remember, I was telling you about the the, the special high demon that's supposed to come get you, and then like you just completely um you you got back up and tried again. He tried, it didn't work. Okay, and then they got demoted. Okay, here's the failure. Okay. Um, also someone feels like they failed you. And then also remember that, and that's why I was saying that third energy, um, this queen of pentacles here, this queen of pentacles could be, let's just say, um, the person they went to, to help them, uh, put something towards you. Okay. Um, it was a failure for her or a failure for him, whoever, whoever they went to, um, it could also be some type of setup. Someone trying to set you up to make you look bad, but it didn't work, okay? At the end of the day, whoever it is that you needed to release and whoever, wherever, for whatever reason, tried to attack you physically or spiritually, it failed, okay? I understand that a mistake is an only an opportunity to learn, okay? And one more. So we got forgiveness, we got failure. Failure comes in seven to several different ways. Discipline. All right. Uh, for some of you all, it takes discipline to get away from certain energies. It takes discipline to um, keep your mind off of certain people or off of replaying events over and over in your mind. It takes discipline to uh, follow your purpose relentlessly and to do the things that you have to do. It takes discipline to say your positive affirmations and to every time your thought comes through with something negative or something doubtful, you switch it. That takes discipline. Okay. But let me tell you something. The empress didn't become the empress because she didn't have discipline or he didn't become the emperor because he don't have discipline. You got what you need. Okay. It says I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And then that's why whoever tries to attack you, they will always fail because you got your mind made up Aquarius. And as long as your mind is made up, nothing, nobody, no human, no demon, no reptilian, no whoever could stop you, especially most importantly, if you keep God, spirit, the universe in the forefront and you listen to your spirit guides and you walk forward in faith, you dig? So that's what I get for you, Aquarius. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your donations, your views. I appreciate you guys so, so very much. And if you are not one of my subscribers, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at Waterstar Vibes, okay? So Aquarius, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you all in your next video.